Another day, another story. The Norman Conquest was a pivotal event in English history that took place in 1066. It marked the beginning of Norman rule in England and had profound and lasting effects on the country's language, culture, and political structure. Here is the full story of the Norman Conquest. Welcome to Thibault Eminent Channel. Background. In the early 11th century, England was ruled by King Edward the Confessor, the last of the Anglo-Saxon kings. King Edward had no children, and as he grew older, the issue of succession became a major concern. There were several claimants to the throne, including Harold Godwinson, the powerful Earl of Wessex, and William, Duke of Normandy. Harold Godwinson's claim. Harold Godwinson claimed that King Edward had promised him the throne on his deathbed, and he was subsequently crowned King of England in January 1066 after Edward's death. However, his ascension was not without controversy, as other claimants disputed his right to the throne. William of Normandy's claim. William, the Duke of Normandy, in what is now northern France, believed that he had a legitimate claim to the English throne. He asserted that Edward had promised him the throne in 1051 when Harold Godwinson was shipwrecked on the coast of Normandy and swore an oath of allegiance to William. Moreover, William argued that Harold had also reaffirmed this promise during a visit to Normandy in 1064. Thus, William saw Harold's coronation as a betrayal of his loyalty. The Norman Invasion In response to Harold's coronation, William assembled an army of Normans and allies, including soldiers from Brittany and Flanders, and set sail for England. In September 1066, his forces landed at Pevensey on the southern coast of England. Meanwhile, Harold was dealing with another threat from the north. Harold Hardrada, the King of Norway, had invaded England with his Viking army, claiming the throne for himself. Harold Godwinson led his forces north and defeated Harold Hardrada at the Battle of Stamford Bridge on September 25, 1066. The Battle of Hastings After defeating the Norwegian invaders, Harold's forces were exhausted and depleted. Nonetheless, he quickly marched south to confront the Normans, who were waiting near Hastings. On October 14, 1066, the two armies met at the Battle of Hastings. The battle was fierce and lasted throughout the day. Despite putting up a valiant defense, Harold was killed, traditionally believed to have been struck in the eye by an arrow. With their leader dead and their ranks weakened, the Anglo-Saxon forces eventually collapsed, and the Normans claimed victory. William's coronation. With Harold's death, William's path to the English throne was clear. He was crowned King of England on Christmas Day 1066 at Westminster Abbey, becoming William the Conqueror. Consolidation of Power. William faced several challenges in his early years as King of England. He had to suppress rebellions by Anglo-Saxon nobles and defend his new kingdom against foreign invaders. Over time, he implemented policies to solidify his control, including the construction of numerous castles to assert Norman authority across the land. The Doomsday Book One of William's most significant achievements was the compilation of the Doomsday Book. Completed in 1086, this extensive survey recorded the details of land ownership, property, and resources in England, providing crucial information for taxation and governance. Legacy The Norman Conquest had a profound impact on England. The Normans brought feudalism to the country, changing the social and political structure. French became the language of the ruling class, while English remained spoken by the common people. Over time, the two languages blended, giving rise to Middle English. Furthermore, Norman influence extended to architecture, culture, and governance, shaping England's history for centuries to come. The monarchy continued with Norman and Plantagenet rulers, leading to a complex web of alliances and conflicts across Europe. In conclusion, the Norman conquest was a defining moment in English history dramatically altering the course of the nation and leaving an indelible mark on its culture and institutions. The Bayou Tapestry The Bayou Tapestry is a remarkable historical artifact that depicts the events leading up to and including the Norman Conquest. It is a long, embroidered cloth created in the late 11th century, measuring about 230 feet in length. The tapestry tells the story of Harold's visit to Normandy, the Battle of Hastings, and William's coronation. It is a unique and invaluable source for understanding the events of 1066 and the mindset of the people of that time. The Death of Harold's Brothers 
During the Battle of Hastings, two of Harold Godwinson's brothers, Gyrth and Leovwine, fought alongside him. The battle was fierce, and both brothers were killed in the fighting. Their deaths were significant losses for the Anglo-Saxon forces and added to the challenges Harold faced on the battlefield. Harrying of the North After William's victory at Hastings, there were several rebellions against Norman rule, particularly in the north of England. In response, William unleashed a brutal campaign known as the Harrying of the North in 1069-1070. The Normans devastated the region, destroying crops, villages, and livestock to quell any resistance. This ruthless campaign resulted in widespread famine and suffering, solidifying Norman control but at a great cost to the people of the North. The Death of William the Conqueror William the Conqueror's reign as King of England was eventful and challenging. He faced internal rebellions, external threats, and disputes with the Church. He also engaged in military campaigns to expand his territories in France. William died on September 9, 1087, after suffering injuries during a battle in Mance, France. His death led to a struggle for power and disputes over his inheritance, resulting in a divided inheritance among his sons. The Anarchy of 1135-1153, the Norman conquest set the stage for further conflict and turmoil in England. After the death of King Henry I in 1135, a period of civil war known as the Anarchy erupted. It was a power struggle between King Stephen and Empress Matilda, Henry I's daughter, both of whom claimed the English throne. The conflict resulted in widespread chaos and devastation, further impacting the stability of the realm. The Normans and the Crusades The Norman conquest of England also had implications beyond the British Isles. Many Normans who settled in England later participated in the Crusades, a series of military campaigns to reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control. Norman knights and nobles played significant roles in these Crusades, further connecting England to the broader events of the medieval world. These additional stories and events helped to paint a more comprehensive picture of the complexities and far-reaching consequences of the Norman conquest and its aftermath. The period following 1066 was filled with challenges, conflicts, and cultural interactions that shaped the course of English and European history. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.